Hi, my name is Tony Newman. I'm Communications Director at the Drug Policy Alliance. This Saturday is Veterans Day. We're going to have a lot of our elected officials, Republicans and Democrats, getting up and saying we need to support the troops and what they're doing, risking their lives over there for our way of life. I have been opposed to the war since before it started and marched in the streets here in New York saying I was against the war. That said, I have a lot of respect for the troops. I would never be courageous enough to go over there, pack up with a gun, and have to fight in that situation. One thing I've hypothesized is, what is it going to be like for these troops after a year or two or three of being shot at, shoot, having to shoot others, seeing your friends uh, killed in your arms? I can only imagine how traumatic it will be. It showed my hypothesis actually is, is confirmed when you look at some of the reports. One out of three veterans that have come back from Iraq seek mental health uh, when they get back. Many of them are suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. One thing I've thought, they will probably end up uh, self-medicating like so many of us do in our society. After everything they see, they may turn to drugs or alcohol to try to numb the pain. What are we going to do when these troops come back and are, are self-medicating due to drugs? We already have prisons that are filled up. 500,000 people locked up behind bars, most of them for nonviolent drug offenses. Are we going to now add the troops into this mix? It's very easy to put a bumper sticker on a car saying we support the troops, but if we're going to walk the walk, we have to offer compassion and treatment to people that are self-medicating, to dealing and healing with the traumas of war. Whether you're Republican or Democrat, whether you're for the war or against the war, we need to support the troops and offer compassion and treatment instead of incarceration. My name is Tony Newman. I hope you join us. Go to drugpolicy.org. Thank you very much.